Hello, everybody. We are doing Saxon Course 3, Lesson 29, and we're going to start with the power, power Up. Now, I have already done this with you once, and the video did not come out right. So we're just going to run back through it again quickly so that I can post this online. Okay, Frank flipped two hotcakes every three seconds at that rate. How many can he flip in a minute? Okay, so if he's doing two hot cakes every three seconds, first of all, how many three seconds are in a minute? A minute is 60 seconds. So 60 divided by three is 20. He's going to have 20 units of time that each one of those units is going to have two hot, hot cakes. So he's going to end up flipping 40 hot cakes. My cat is on my lap. Okay, estimation. When we're dividing, we want to estimate. And on this one, I estimated by 50s. I said, okay, 449.8 is close to 450. 49.7 is close to 50. And so 450 divided by 50, we can just cancel those zeros off, can't we? And we're going to get 9. Okay, so this is the obnoxious cat. He just gets right in my face when I'm busy. Okay, so what is the value of x? Well, we know that 50 degrees are already accounted for, and we have 180 degrees in a complete triangle. So 180 minus 50 is 130. Number sense, 7.5 times 4. Now, the way I did it was just 7 holes times 4 is 28, but 0.5 is a half, and a half of 4 is 2, so 28 plus 2 is 30. Scientific notation. Write 7.5 times 10 to the 6th in standard notation. Well, I started with, let me get a little drawing tool here, 7.5, and then I'm going to move the decimal six places to the right. So here's the decimal now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fill in with zeros. New decimal at the end. So comma, comma, and by the magic of erasing, we get our number right there. Fractional parts. Okay, so we started with 3 eighths, 3 eighths of means times $32, but I'm going to write 32 over 1. Now remember, our 8 and our 32 will cancel with a 4 and a 1. So since I only have 1s on the bottom now, I just multiply 3 times 4 and put it back into money. So the answer is $12. Percent. 33 and one-third percent is one-third. So one-third of 90 is $30. Or 90 divided by 3, if you want to think of it that way. Oh, our calculation. 11 times 9 is 99, plus 1 is 100. Square root 100, you get 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. Square root 16, you get 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. Square root 9, you get 3. Plus 7 is 10. I love doing those. Those are fun. New concepts today. We're talking about ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers by division. For example, if there are 12 girls and 16 boys in a class, then we can express the ratio of girls to boys as a reduced fraction. Girls, 12, boys, 16, and then we reduce or simplify. Okay, we read this ratio as 3 to 4. Here we show four ways to write a ratio. Now, this is a good test question. Okay, we use the ratio with the word 2, 3, 2, 4. Or as a fraction, 3, <coughs> I scared the cat away, excuse me, 3 fourths, 
or as a decimal. Three-fourths is the same as 0.75, or with a colon. Three colon four is the same as three two four. Okay, so if I asked you four ways to write a certain ratio, you should be able to give me four ways. All right, example one. There are nine girls and 15 boys in a class. What is the ratio of boys to girls in the class? Okay, so we have nine girls, but it says boys to girls. So don't we have to put boys on the top? So 15 to nine. All right, so it didn't tell us which way to write this ratio. So we're going to first simplify. I'm going to divide by three and divide by three on the bottom, and I'm going to get five thirds. Okay, so five thirds is a ratio, but what if we just write it five, two, three, or five, two, three. All right, so there's the example there. They left it as a fraction, which is fine. A 30 foot tall tree cast a shadow 18 feet long. What is the ratio of height of the tree to the length of the shadow? So we had 30 was the height and the shadow was 18. Okay, so if we're going to do that, 30 was the height, 18 was the shadow. Divide by 6, they both divide by 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So isn't the ratio 5 thirds or 5 to 3? There's the answer to that one. They, again, wrote it as a fraction. They could have written it a different way. In some situations, we round numbers to express, express a ratio. For example, in a day of stock market trading, perhaps 789 stocks gained value and 597 lost value. The ratio of advancers to decliners is estimated as, here's the advancers, but we will round, excuse me, that to 800 and 597. We will round that to 600. Now, won't I be able to cancel those two zeros? And then 8 over 6 could become 4 over 3 or 4 to 3. Okay, at the high school football game, 1,217 fans sat on the home team side and 896 fans sat on the visiting team side. What was the approximate ratio of home team fans to visiting team fans? Okay, so we have um, home team is going to be in the first. So one, two, one, seven, and eight, ninety-six. Okay, well this one is real close to 1,200. And this one is real close to 900. So we would cancel out. And 12 to 9 is the same thing as 4 thirds or 4 to 3, which is what they give you on the answer slide right there. Okay, so Rosa kept a record of the number of pages and number of minutes she read each night. Find Rosa's approximate reading rate for the book in pages per minute. So if we did pages per minute, we'd have 15 over 30, which simplifies to one half. Okay, 11 over 20. 11 over 20. Now, if we were going to approximate that, we could maybe say it's one half, but you'll see on the next page when they give the answers, they're not approximating this. They're just giving you the exact. 14 over 30 can simplify 
to 7 fifteenths. And 12, 20 over 40 can simplify to 1 half. And 27 over 50 doesn't really simplify. We would just leave it like that. Okay, here's the answer sheet. And you can see 15 over 30 is, 15 over 30 is 1 half. 11 over 20, 11 over 20, 14 over 30, they simplify by dividing by 2. 7 over 15, 1 half, 27 over 50. And then they said right here, they go a little bit further. They said, can you get the 5-day rate? Okay, so to get the 5-day rate, they added up all of the pages, and they got 87 pages. Oops. They got 87 pages. That is not staying where it's supposed to. I'm not sure why. Let me see if I can do this. It's not letting me write. 87 over 170 is 87 over 170 which is the ratio, okay? So it's still close to one half, but 87 over 170 is the rate when you take all five days into account. They're gonna add all these up and get 170 and all these up and get 87 and do that. Now it's still close to one half page per minute. Okay, so notice what they put over here. They said approximate, but they used all of the exacts. So here's the answer to that one. Okay, they used all of the exact measures, and we did all of those. But it says here, let's continue the problem. It said, could you get another pencil or be done? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> get a different pencil. All right, so it says, the ratio is close to one page every two minutes or about a half a page per minute. Okay, so if we were going to um, do the whole total up, then we would say about how many um, minutes altogether. So they added up the 87 from all of those totals and the 170 from all of the minutes. And they said the rate for five days was 87 over 170, okay? So now we're going for the practice set. So everybody has your packet now. And um, let's go ahead, number one, refer. Refer to this information to answer questions A and B, all right? In a bag are 14 marbles. Six marbles are red and eight are blue. Okay, so that's our information. What is the ratio of red marbles to blue marbles, class? What's the original ratio? Okay, so six over eight would be the original. What would we simplify that to? Three-fourths, very good. Okay, what is the ratio of blue marbles to red marbles? Eight to six, which we will simplify to. Boy, this is tough stuff, isn't it, guys? Okay, number um, C and D, letter C and D, refer to this statement. A 20-foot flagpole cast a shadow 24 feet long. Okay, so 20 feet is the flagpole 24 is the shadow in just a minute let's don't go in the middle of this what is the ratio of the height of the flagpole to the length of the flagpole so height is going to be which one of those okay 20 over 24 okay so the length of the shadow oops i didn't put that right did i 20 over 24 and that's going to simplify to what what can we Okay, five, because we're going to divide them both by what? Four, five, or four, four. We're going to divide them both by four, and we're going to get five, six. Does everybody see that? Yes. Okay, what is the ratio of the length of the shadow? So we're just going to flip it over, right? 24 to 20, which is six-fifths. 
Really, really tough stuff. Okay. <laughs> e, if 479 stocks advanced in price and 326 declined in price, then what was the approximate ratio of advancers to decliners? Okay, so approximate means we're going to, we're going to put advancers on the top and decliners on the bottom. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put advancers 479. So we can see an exact ratio first. And then 326 is the declining. Okay, so then we're going to simplify. Okay, so, you know, the, the more we um, are careful with our, um, with our approximation, the better off our approximation is going to be. So why don't we just go maybe by 50s? Okay, is 79 closer to 50 or to 100? 100. So we'll make this 500, right? Is 26 closer to 50 or 0, 0? Okay, so we'll make this 3, 50. Okay, now, that should be a little bit better approximation than if we just went straight to the 100s, right? Because we're choosing a smaller approximation number. Okay, so now what are we going to do? How can we simplify? Can't we knock those zeros off right away? Okay, so now we know they divide by 5, <coughs> which would give us what? 10 over 7. 10 over 7. And that's as, that's, as, that's as good as we can get it, right? 10 over 7 is the answer. All right, using the table in example 4, find Rose's approximate reading rate in minutes per page. Okay, so example 4, it says reading rate in minutes per page. Okay, now let's go back up and look at example four, which was this one. Now we talked about one page every two minutes. So let's go back here. So it was one page every two minutes. So now we want to change that rate to minutes per page. So when we say two minutes per one page, right? So it's just two minutes per page, isn't it? We would flip it over and there we have it. Okay, so now we're working on our homework. It's just for the five days. Oh, did it? Five day total. Find approximate reading rate in but minutes per. Five day total hours. Oh, okay. On yours it says it. Okay, so let's go back and find the five day total. And the five day was 87 over 170. So 87 over 170. And that was pages per minute. So we would go on here. We are doing minutes per page, right? So we would come over here and we would say minutes per page, doing what y'all have on yours. And we would get 170 minutes, 87 pages. Now, when we're doing a rate, shouldn't we keep this? So we would say 170 over 87 minutes per page. But what would that be approximately? 170, if we're going to do approximately, um, could, could we say maybe, um, we could go ahead and divide it. Does that go once or twice? So we'll say 87 is close to 90. 90. It's going to be almost 2, isn't it? Yeah. If we were going to do an approximate, wouldn't that be about, since we're approximating? Because 90 would go into 180, 
but we're rounding both that one up. So we it's very, very close to two minutes per page, isn't it? All right, so let's go ahead and do number one. 1,000 pounds of grain were packaged in five pound bags. How many bags were there? How do we do this problem? What shall I write down? 1,000 pounds. Okay, so we have 1,000 pounds and each bag holds five pounds. So we're dividing it up into five pounds bags. So we're, that's going to be 200 bags to take care of that 1,000 pounds, right? Okay, the minute hand of a clock changes position by 30 degrees, okay? So <clears throat> nobody can, oh yeah, you can see my time up at the top there. Y'all keep track, tell me when I run out. Okay, 30 degrees in five minutes, what fraction of the full 360 turn is this? So we're talking about a clock, guys. Remember the clock, when we're talking about the clock is a full circle. So that's what they're talking about, the 500 degrees. Okay, so 30 degrees is happening in five minutes, and we have the whole clock is 360 degrees, okay, and so five minutes, excuse me, not 50, five minutes, okay, so the whole 360 is going to be 12 times the 30, isn't it? So what is 12 times the 5? 60 minutes. What's 60 minutes, guys? An hour. Doesn't the minute hand go all the way around the clock in an hour? It starts here, and it goes all the way around the clock in one hour. But they're doing it in degrees, so that 30 degrees is the five-minute mark. That right there is 30 degrees, okay? And so then 30 into 360 is 12 times, so I need to multiply 5 times 12 to get 60 minutes or 1 hour. Okay, now, so it says 1 hour is how long it would take to get all the way around the clock, but then it says what fraction of a full 360 turn is this? And then, what did you say? 1 twelfth because we had to multiply by 12 to get all the way around. 1 12th. Okay? Compute an 18% gratuity on a $3,000 banquet fee. Okay, so we have 18%, I always put my percent over 100 there, times, 3,000, okay? So what would you do in canceling to make this easier, guys? Cancel two zeros, cancel two zeros. So now don't we just have 18 times 30? And what is 18 times three? Three times eight is 24, carry your two, three times one, so 54. And then we tack on what? One zero. $540 is just the gratuity. That's the tip. Oh my goodness. Okay, if the base and height of a triangle are the lengths of two sides of the triangle, then the triangle is what? Okay, so what does it say? The base and the height of the triangle are the lengths of the two sides of the triangle. So yes, it is what? right. Okay, they didn't, they said they were the links. Okay, Val planted 36 pumpkin seeds in the community garden. In two weeks, 27 of the seeds had germinated. What percent of the seeds had germinated? Okay, so he had 27 had germinated and he planted 36. So now he's saying what percent? How do we get to a percent? 
We're saying question mark. That's a question mark, guys. It doesn't look like a question mark. But first of all, could we simplify this fraction to make the division easier? Okay, so divide by 9, we get 3. Divide by 9, we get 4. <coughs> How do we write 3 fourths as a percent? Or maybe go to a decimal first. <coughs> okay, it's 0.75, which is 75%. Okay, so we'll erase our question mark and put 75%. Okay, number six. Woo! Now, think about this. What's five squared? We missed that one. <coughs> 25. Now, we could do this two ways. Uh, 25 Zero. times Zero. five. Five to the one is five. Times, what's 5 to the 0? One. 1. So what's 25 times 5? What is 25 times 5? 200 and... 125. 125. Okay, but let's do the same problem, but let's use exponents. So when we multiply, don't we add the exponents together? So 2 plus 1 plus 0 is 3. So 5 cubed is how to do it with exponents, and it is still 125, isn't it? Okay, number seven. Yes. I'm going to go back in just a minute. Let me, 10 squared is 100 minus, shh. Okay, so our last video timed out right here on the last problem. So 10 squared is 100 minus 10 to the 1. 10 to the 1 is just 10 because anything to the 1 power is itself. And then 10 to the 0 is 1, so minus 1. 100 minus 10 is 90. 90 minus 1 is 89. And there we have finished the lesson 29. This is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.